All right, today we're starting off with moving my wagon back. It's a 19, I think this one's a 77 Dodge Monaco Crestwood station wagon. It's a pretty good solid running car. All right, let's get motoring. Got a lot to do today. This poor girl's been at the body shop for probably about a month now. It was actually done a couple weeks ago, but been too busy to pick it up. Fifty-three thousand original miles. Unfortunately, we're amid the coronavirus. So the whole plot of buying this, making a bunch of money and selling it, that is gone. They ain't going nowhere. Well, it might. It probably won't be sold till the virus lifts, which really sucks. Because I was super hoping to get some money out of this car, but it is what it is. This is an interesting car I've had uh, quite a few months now. I picked this up last winter. This is a 1977 Dodge Monaco Crestwood station wagon. It's a big ass B body wagon. It's got 53,000 miles on it. Something like that. Car's pretty clean. It's pretty damn huge. Old style wood paneling. Looks like something you'd see on the wall of your grandmother's house. This is a factory 360 car. I believe it has a 727 trans with an eight and a quarter rear end. Interior, not too bad. Get on in there. Blue bench. Needs to be cleaned up a bit, but blue bench. Carpet's actually in decent shape. Could use a nice shampooing. Okay. Some extra paint I have. We did a little bit of paint work and rust repair on the car. Had some minor rust in the lower quarters, but that was all fixed. Man, look at that dashboard. These B-body cars never, ever have clean dashes in them. This car sat for a decent amount of time prior to me getting it. It really actually does have 53,000 original miles on it, which is pretty sweet. Um, I need some muck work still, such as exhaust. Check out under the hood. Mopar 360 with a two barrel carburetor. RV2 compressor, factory AC car. Just put that alternator in, so that's a brand new alternator. A little dirty under there. A couple leaves, nothing crazy. Mint. Brome. So this car does not have the third row seating, unfortunately. Man, it is big back there. Is so sweet. That backboard headliner is in great shape. Those are usually destroyed and disintegrated by now. This one's actually held up quite well over the years. That is one big pitch of a wagon. 